Trading securities and other financial instruments can involve high risk and the loss of amounts invested. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh does not provide investment advice and her classes are purely for educational purposes. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh does not assume responsibility or liability for your trading and investment results. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh may or may not have holdings or positions in the securities mentioned in her classes or the materials. Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing today? A little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, we're going to review UAA when we're done here today. And because because of the move that it made yesterday and after the lecture I gave, I mean, you know, it's just it was something I think everyone can learn from. Uh, Barry's looking at support. Very good. Barry's got his coffee in him this morning and vitamins. Uh, the best gap, Facebook is tonight. Earnings are after four, just FYI. And DDD is the best gap here this morning. Uh, Koala Bear, you write in the morning a lot that you can't get shorts. Um, you're the only one that does. I, I think you perhaps maybe need to check into a broker that has more short access. I mean, that's totally up to you. Um, but, you know, if you don't have DDD today, you can watch ANF. But this is the best gap, and I, I think that it's something that you got to check into because you write that a lot. Um, Barry, you should have called about it. You should be able to get that from your place. I don't know if you know that process, Barry. Or you do know that process. You do know that process, actually. Um, what else was I going to say? Let's just try to focus here today. The, the, you know, the market is is up again. I mean, is anyone surprised? Where do we go? Again, the SPY is headed straight to 260. I mean, I'm not saying it gets there today, but it's pretty much was just going to go right there um, after we hit up over the high again. And so we need to be cautious with shorts. And Qcom worked again in the afternoon yesterday as well. I, did anyone do that a second time around or a third or a fourth or a fifth? If you wanted to trade yesterday afternoon, there was a lot to do to the downside, and the market was strong. So we have to be cautious of this here, of the look of the market today. And this is almost at the first target. If you don't have DDD, watch ANF, but this is the one I'm going to be watching. If for some reason it doesn't set up, then I will flip over to the ANF. But I do like this, and it does have volume, and it's good. We do have to watch $9, though. And I'm not saying it doesn't get through it. I put the numbers in the room. It's better if this backs up first. Little housekeeping here, too. Uh, if you, if you, there's only three people, I think, that are having an issue getting the room password that I heard from. If you unsubscribe from the big list, it takes you off all lists, meaning you wouldn't get the room password. So if you ever do that, you're not going to get the room password either from the main list of the emails. Just FYI, everybody. I have to look into seeing if some people did that. That might be one of the issues with the three people still having the problem. My assistant's going to check that. Let's have a good solid day here today. Then we're going to do some teachy things about UAA. And uh, tomorrow I'm on TV. Gyro's running the room, and I got a call yesterday. Friday I'm going to be on. I'm going to be on Fox Radio, which is really exciting too. I'm just, I'm so excited. Gypsy, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. We may have to change your email. Okay, kind of spready in here. 12 cents. Let's see. Okay, don't jump, 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 jump again at anything here. And now it's more than that. So 13 cents, and at one point there it was 16 cents. I'm talking about the spread, so just relax. Also, this really isn't moving yet. Okay, DDD. In fact, I don't even know if this is open here yet. So no, just wait. Yeah, 
volume in that bar is very, very small. This could do a pop up or go down quick. Just relax. I'm not sure if this is the open here for this. It doesn't look like this is open yet. In fact, it doesn't look like it's moving. So. And this is really low volume now, this ANF. Okay, now this looks like it's open. DDD was not open down in there, and ANF has crazy low volume for it to be open, unless that's not open yet either. Okay, let's just watch this. In fact, I don't even know if this is open yet. This volume is really low. Low, low, low. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting suckered into anything early here today. So let's just see. 9.59. No, I don't think this is open yet, people. It's hardly moving and the volume's low. Is it just me or is this not moving? It doesn't look like it's moving. I don't think it's open yet. This is very odd now. It's 9.33 almost. Yeah, 9.33 almost. It's not moving. Okay, all right. Now that's the open. Yep, That now it's open. Boy, is that crazy. So, you know, we could have taken it here, but I, I didn't think it was open yet. So let's just wait. I think this bar was the open. So 952. Let's do 18 by 65. If that hits right here, which I don't know if it's gonna. 18 by 65, DDD. Here, take it right now if you want it. Take it right now if you want to put the stop in at 65. 65 on the stop here, DDD. Let's just double check it. Yeah, that's plenty of room. That's more than enough room. Actually, it didn't hit 18 yet, but I'm already in. Well, let's just see. Here, 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 here. There, where? It hit. I thought it was going to go fast. Here, be in it if you want it. Stop 65. That's more than enough room. First target, though, is nine. First target, though, is nine. First target's nine. In fact, it went to 9, 9, 10. Yep, I think this open here, very strange, but we, we it, it would have been fine, but it's good that we waited. I think this was the open. You can see the volume in here. First target is $9, so we got to watch that. A&F, A&F finally opened too? Well, I, I'm, I can't look at two things at once right now. You're on your own if you do the entry in that. That was that was a late open too. Okay, nine ten, nine ten. Here, I'll look at it quick. I think I can. Yeah, A and F. This is still kind of low volume for this. This is going as well. First target of this is twelve. So there's the A and F. You could have done both. You could have done one. You could have done whatever. If you did the A and F, first target is 12, this first target is 9, and you have to pay attention now. I don't know if either one of these sets up again or not. But they both open late. That was very obvious, actually. Here we go. DDD. DDD down. We have to watch that $9 area. Because all these things may set up a second time. Here. Here. DDD. Come on. Break nine. Come 
Come on, come on. Here we go, let's see if it breaks it. Here. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Darn it, come on. Nine oh one, nine dollars. I really think this breaks nine, but my hand is on the button here because I don't know. It did hit nine, but it, it didn't it didn't really bounce. So here. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! Here! There we go. There we go. There. Drop, drop, drop. There, out, out, out. Da, 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 da. First quick trade, that's enough. Just, I'm not gonna let it bounce against me. If you're in it, you're, you're literally, your hand is right on that button here because this is a big move for the stock. This is a big move for the stock. It got past the number. Here. Here, 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 it's still going. It's still going. If you're in it, fine. But literally have your hand on the button. Let me go to the other one. Oh, dude. if anybody did that, I hope you got out. Woo, here, this is still going, but not taking any chances today. Want to start the month off right? doop a doop a do. Here. Mark Mobile's out half. Okie dokie. I think everybody has to be out of at least something of this, whether it's a third, whether it's half, whether it's the whole thing. Here, let's just double tier. Here, 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 here. 875 is the next number if you're still in it. Pyro got out of ANF. Wow, that looks crazy. Now this could go, where did I say? 850 here today. It's finally getting going. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I said it. A and D. Um, A and F. Oh, that was a that was an I looked at that and it was all the way up here. That must have been an invisible tick. That was weird. Let me just see the move this made. It got to 12. I really think that's it. I really think this is absolutely it for this ANF. I don't think you're going to get a lot more out of this. This potentially could keep going here, but the time you don't know. And let's look, look quickly at the market here. And this is a situation. Yes, here, market, 260 in the SPY today. You want to go long the SPY? You can do it on a setup. It's already hit, actually. It's a little late. It's hit, triggered on the one, triggered on the two, triggered on the five. Everything's going here. For those of you still in the PayPal option, I would really watch my exit on this for the market today. I would watch this today. 73, it looks like it got to this morning. Um, don't let these, don't let the money get away from you in anything. This thing, that thing, the other. Mary got out of it too. Yeah. Market's extremely bullish today. New highs today and everything. New highs today and everything and I think the market's going to hold, which I kind of saw this morning. So, you know, you, you can't mess around with that. We'll see if there's second setups in these things. Chinchilla got out in 16 seconds, 19 seconds. <laughs> that might be a record. Here, DDD, if you're still in it, that's faster than Gator. Put the stop over nine. Give yourself a break. If it poops over nine, you'll be out with money. If you took it over there anywhere in the teens or 20s, and if it keeps going, then you could get this down another 30 cents. Here, it's going to try to go. Is anybody still in this at all? The whole thing? DDD, it's holding. It is weak. But you have to look at the size of the bar and the normal move it makes. So look at this here, 70 cents. We're, we're at that today. Here, 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 here. Watch 880, DDD. Sunny was out. Here, 875. Wow, this did keep going. <sighs> Here, 
Wow, look at this move here. Congratulations. Some of you still are getting this down. Wow, a nice another drop in there. See if it breaks 70. Wow, it's going to try. I think it does. Wow, this might go to 850. Is that crazy or what? Wait, let's see. No, 870. All right, Mark Marbles all are out. Yeah, nice, nice, nice is right. 941. Look at that move in 10 minutes. Is there anybody that is doing anything else or watching anything else that needs to be checked? Uh, what was the other one this morning? Barry had one that was a healthcare stock. This did work too. I didn't want to mess around with this, but it worked. This had a really big move. It, 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 the stop wasn't bad in this considering the move. In fact, this had a really big move. It was like a buck and a half. EVHC had a massive move. That was another good one. This, now here, this is really flipping. I saw that earlier, but I think it was an invisible tick. Um, I didn't see that this would follow through, but it did have one move. You definitely, definitely, definitely should be all of this, and I don't think this resets up, but this could, but it, it, I don't know. This might just, if this just drops right down to 850, then it's done. All right, let's look at yesterday's. Yesterday's was QCOM. Let's see if there's any follow through in that. Did anyone do this in the afternoon? Man, had a really good move in the afternoon. Journey Woman made money in A&F. Good for you for quickly flipping over then. If you couldn't do the DDD, it was good for you. You just quick did the flip. Uh, no, this gapped up. Well, this just gapped up with the market. Let's look at this. Mary did do UA in the afternoon. Interesting. So Mary noticed it. Actually, the low of the day yesterday was 12.48. CJ did a and too? Yeah, they both worked. They both worked. They both went to the targets. DDD went to a couple of targets. a and target really was 12. It would have had to kaboom through that number to go anywhere. This, they, they, these, both, these both had big afternoon moves. All right, let's go back to this. I don't, I, uh, Journey Moon, what did you end up doing with QCon yesterday? Koala Bear is interested to know. He's taking a survey. I don't think you emailed me either way. Again, if you're still in the DDD, then I would seriously put the stop over nine or bar by bar in here. This could back up and bouncy bounce. She doesn't want to talk about it, Koala Bear. All right, so interesting morning here, the kind of morning that we like. Two things rated well, two things set up fast, two things worked. You could have done either one, you could have done both. I think we're back in a normal environment now, and surprise, surprise, it had a lot to do with the market just continuing in its same direction. So there was a period of time, which we did talk about last week, where the market was stuck, and it was, to me, it was higher, and it was very obvious to see it, but because it seemed to be stuck, faking lower, not really going lower, but not moving higher yet, um, we finally moved away from that period in the gap up that happened, which was on Friday. So I believe now we will be in normal conditions back to doing what we always do, what we've been continuing to do. Um, and the UAA that failed in the first setup yesterday, really, we could have retaken. And, and anyone could have done it. I always say that if you have conviction, redo it. And if you don't, then you can step away. It wasn't like I lost conviction in the gap because I lectured about it for half an hour. It was more the fact that, you know, I wanted to do something that was right in front of my face, which was QCOM then. Um, so easier to do that and get out quick. But UAA was went to numbers I didn't even have written down yesterday and so we are going to go over it but I believe we're back in normal market conditions now why because the market has finally gapped up over the high and showed its hand which is that it's higher we really were in traded in a very tight range for the whole month of October we were bullish and we gapped up every day but we never really made the move in the queues and I think that was confusing people and stocks and everything else. So I feel like it's better if the market just goes and does its normal thing, which I kind of said at some point, I don't remember when, but we did it. So I think we're back in our normal environment, which is a good thing, November 1st. 
Sandal Trader, will you email me that? Because I'll never remember. Journey Woman didn't put the stop where I told her. She got impatient. You could have gone back and done that in the afternoon, though. You could have gone back and done the UAA or any of those things if you wanted to fight back yesterday from lowering the stop and then getting dinged out. I know you probably didn't, but you, you can always do that. You know what to do, Journey Woman. Today, I'm glad you flipped to the a and F. You would have had a nice gain if you had gotten it through two. Yeah, we'll go over QCOM two if you want. Here, people, this might be setting up again. Does anyone really want to do anything else, though? Seriously? This did go over nine, but if this sets up again, I'm going to call it. Next target's 850. DDD. A and F, I think you leave it alone. Yeah. No, I... Here, go on the market if you're desperate for a trade here. Stop under the low. Does anyone, you could go on the market. And Apple flew in the last three days. Flew, flew, flew. Where did this go? So I didn't get to give a lecture yesterday because the people came to, to give me a water filter for free, which was very nice. I'm getting, I'm getting some upgrades even though I'm, <laughs> even though I, <laughs> I it's funny, I, I'm getting upgrades I didn't know about, didn't pay for. I'm not going to complain, so obviously I let them in and they can do it. <laughs> um, oh, this is waiting to break out again, Amazon. We need to watch this every day. I could call another trade in this any second too. This could just pop if Apple and everything pops up in the earnings. This is ready to break out. Let's look at the Google. Baba has earnings out tomorrow morning before the bell. Early, early, early. We will look at that too. Yes, didn't forget. Um, did that gap up today? Probably. I'll look at it. Although that chart's been lagging. And this has to situate itself either. I did not like the way it closed on the day that it actually had the earnings, but it had such a big move. I guess you can't fault it. The last three days has had a rally. This is headed to 200. I guess that could happen in the earnings. 190 looks realistic today for Baba. Is anyone long this? Do Bob's, are you in this? You're on your own? I didn't give a call on this, but it looks good. Is anyone else doing this? Galahad, you'd like to do these things on your own. Oh my gosh, we have to look up Equifax for Pete's sakes. Oh yeah, you are in the option in the Baba? Are you going to get out of it today because the earnings are unknown? Um, is, has Equifax determined when they're coming out yet? Here, let me look again. And also, I have to email the place about that because I can't miss that. EFX. Oh, my gosh. November 9th. Yep. Okay. That's probably real now. November 9th, two, what's the calendar? What's the 9th? Next Thursday. After the market. They gotta report that, they're not gonna be able to change it. This is the deadline. Nope. I have November 9th and it's probably them because they can't, they have to report by I think that date. FISB was not on my list today. This Baba looks good, Dubods. Don't, don't, don't miss it. This could run up all day, actually, today. 190. If you hold any of this through the earnings, though, it's a crapshoot. FISB, FISB. I did not see. I will look at it. No, this worked. I don't think I would have done anything different, though, than we did. Um, let's look at the chart. In fact, I know that I wouldn't have, but, you know, but this did work. In fact, I'm certain that I wouldn't have, but this had a massive move. You could have done that. Okay, so this is backing up. I don't know if it sets up again or not. This, oops, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted A and F. Is everyone done for the day? right at this moment, unless you're long the market or in some options that you're running up today. If you're in options and longs overnight, you must pay attention to the market today because I'm telling you, Apple's out tomorrow, tomorrow night. 
Um, so you got about 48 hours, less than that. Here, this is over the high, that's done. Because if Apple does not report well, which I don't know if it does or not, I don't know. But if it doesn't, then the market will gap down on Friday morning. If Apple gaps down Thursday night, it will drag the market down. So you don't want to be in any overnight positions unless you're out for them for another 30 days or more. Past Thursday close, FYI, everyone. I'm just telling you, if you're in swing trades, you're holding, you don't have any option expiration dates, fine. If you're in any longs, you got to watch, you know, and be out by Friday four because Apple could move the market higher if it gaps up or it could drag the market down. It's not going to change the trend in it, but it will, it will collapse some of your positions. So does anyone want to go over anything other than the ones from DDD and this, which worked? And this is flipping now. And this really just leave alone. Uh, let's go over this. I'm assuming everybody's done. A uh, gyro's been in Baba since the dawn of time. Okay, good. You guys love gyro. You're gonna get him today, tomorrow. You're gonna get him Friday. I don't know the details of Friday yet. They called me about it yesterday. I'm pretty excited. They think I'll be good on radio. I can't disagree with them. <laughs> I have to be careful though, as because I tend to talk faster. I think about slowing down my talk when I'm on TV, but on radio, I don't. I have to. I'm gonna really have to think because, like, when I'm talking to you now, if I'm not looking at a person, it's harder to think to talk slower because I normally do talk extremely fast. So I will have to be very conscious of that. But I'm I'm psyched. I mean, I am so psyched. I am just like I'm just plowing forward with everything in my life. Couldn't couldn't be more excited. It's almost hard to sleep at night. <laughs> Um, let's go over UAA. You did A and F and DDD and made your targets on both. Congratulations, Eclipse Trader. Everyone should be doing good this week. Is anyone not doing good this week? Is anyone not having a solid, positive, good, strong week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days. Gyro will take good care of you Thursday and Friday. Vincent, are you having a good week? Where are you? Barry, what about you? Barry, what trades did you do today? new people here specifically the new the new men and women in here koala bear did not have a good week why <laughs> doc t <laughs> oh galahad has no platform well then you didn't have a bad week <laughs> if then you didn't have a bad week i don't know why you don't have a platform but you have to get that situated Barry said, every day is a great day with you. Thank you. Mary said, positive three days. Amazing. Congratulations. Mary, you usually do well, though. Vincent, are you here? He might have signed out already. Yes, no. Vincent, you're there. How is your week going? I'm doing a check-in. Platform problems today. You didn't do anything. MRK you did, and you didn't do UAA. All right, well, then you're up for the week, but just slow. Work out the platform issues some of you are having. And in reference to the DDD and that some of you couldn't get, it didn't matter because you did the A&F, so that worked out. All right, let's go over UAA. Basically, what did this do? Let's see where this actually started to show its hand because I didn't really check that out myself here either. Let's look about it. Eclipse Trader says our weeks have been great. Mine too. Let's go back and look. But some days are easier than others. I think today was easy. Love that when that happens. All right, let's look here at this whole situation. So I lectured about this for until the people came to change the water filter. Um, and you see this spike in here that happened. And we talked about this. And, and, and I, I literally, and, I, and I'm not lying to you, for one second in my head in the morning before we put the stop, I thought about putting it at 1450, but I felt that then it just didn't make any sense. We could have though. If I had that number in my head as well, but then I, I just didn't think it made any sense. And the reason was because, and looking back, you're like, oh, 10 cents to keep us in it. But it still took a long time to get going. But either way, I probably would have got out of this here at the low. So if we had stayed with the trade, had put the stop at 50, we would have exited the trade at 1380 because the stock didn't really get going here until after 11. So it's neither here nor there. We would have never done the QCOM. At least I wouldn't have or called it or anything once or twice. 
if it wouldn't have been if we wouldn't have been stopped in this. So I think it all it all, it all worked out. In fact, it might have worked out better the way the day worked out by doing cucumber twice. But anyways, the point that the lesson to learn from this here was everything I said yesterday, which I'm going to review again, because I know some people probably didn't care, didn't pay attention, left early. Um, the lecture I gave about this stock, because it, it, not only did it go to 13, it went to 1250, it went to 1248. But the high on this bar here, to put it at 50 is so far away, and the spread wasn't that much. It pushed off to a secondary level of resistance, which it did hold. And, and at some point, you just got to say no, because there's 10,000 levels of resistance, just like there's 10,000 levels of support. And at some point, you have to say, I'm done. And I'm either going to wait for it to hold and retake it or find something else to trade, because you can't give things unlimited stops. And you can continue to rationalize to yourself it's going to hold this resistance or this resistance as the stock continues to go over the high, which this didn't here. It had one move over the high and halted, which was a sign as well. But you know, if in reference to watching something where it's going to hold, the first level of resistance is always the best. If you give stocks every time the second level of resistance, your stops will be larger, um, which is fine. It may keep you in more plays. You, you will have less risk to reward. I think if you want to do that, then you stay with the play a little bit longer, which may or may not work some days. So in this case here, though, yesterday it definitely did. I think it's easier to get stopped out and take a second trade so that you have a fixed amount that you risk and that your risk to reward does pay off when the stock goes and works. The morning move this had in the first four minutes was the same as we would have exited it had it blown over the high. And the only way to have made this worthwhile if we had put the stop at 1450 is if we would have shorted more here and shorted more here and just whopped on the size of it. Because the move itself it made was basically 20 cents. And we would have got out there. The stock based, 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 and it didn't break this level until 11 o'clock, which is what I wanted to see. It actually didn't even really do it in some massive way, which is another sign as well. You did UA in the afternoon. Is there a preference for UA versus UAA? Um, I Did I have a preference? I don't know why I watched this. No, I didn't have a preference. Did you have a preference? Oh, I did have a preference. No, that's not true. I did. Here, look at the chart. There's that. And there's this. I did have a preference, and it was this, and this is why we did this yesterday. It's fine if you did the UA, Mary. It worked. This is the preference. More data history. And that's why. <clears throat> so this, this is why I did. I forgot that. But the move it makes was very similar and the same. And, and this is going today. Look at this. Here, where did this go? I don't want to miss this if it sets up again, but I don't I don't know if it's going to. DDD, if it starts to look like it's going to set up, somebody remind me, I'll look at it. All right, going back to what I was saying, this just proves my point. The whole lecture I gave yesterday was that the stock, this is after we got stopped out. After we got stopped out and lost in this yesterday for the first trade. Then I gave a lecture in between the QCOM, and I said that this was not getting bought with institutional money, and I talked and talked and talked about it. And can anyone say before I tell you, which is very obvious to me, now that you go back and look at this, besides the fact that the stock ran red all day and just basically almost went to zero into the close, close of the low, which is unusual too, and a great short as well, this thing here, what do you see in the chart, in this thing here, in this chart, in UAA, right now, the one minute, the clip I'm showing you here, for the beginning of the day until this period, what is very obvious that proves my point, besides the fact that it went right of the day, pretend you don't know that yet, you're watching this here and you've seen it, what do you see in this chart here that it makes it say, oh, yeah, I can see what she's saying is the truth there too. Why? Does anyone see it? I want you to see if you see it. Here, let me try to blow it up. I don't know if I can put it all in. No, I can't. You're just gonna have to be that size. What do you see? Anything? Just guess. We're gonna have a little lesson here today. Unless I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Which, if that's the case, I'm going to go back to bed, take a nap, since I have to get up at 1.30 a.m. tonight. <laughs> what do you see in the chart here 
from yesterday in UAA that tells you, oh, Melissa was right. This was not in control to the upside of institutions. This was in control to the downside. And I'm not saying the fact that it ran red all day and went to the dream target and closed all red. I'm saying something you would have seen here to tell you the level of control right in the morning here. It's in the chart. Look at it. Study it. Galahad. Galahad must be ready to jump into the, <laughs> the river in England because he hasn't been able to trade all week for some reason. It's platform and it's been a good week. Short covering rallies. There are short covering rallies. That's true. It's following the moving average. That's true. These are correct answers, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. But you are correct. I mean, these are all good, true statements. On each attempt to buy the stock, there is sustained sell-off. My God, you should go in TV, Journey Woman. What an excellent explanation. That is amazing. Um, that's not the answer I was going to say, but still, that was an excellent explanation. Double top would show institutional buying. You mean double bottom. Because things get bought on bottoms. Is that what you mean, Vincent? I think you meant that. All of your answers are good. I'm making you think. Does anyone else want to think? That's not what I'm seeing here, but I still want to see some more people use your heads here. Because these answers are good anyways. No double top in the chart. That's true, there isn't. Here's JW's answer. This isn't my answer, but I think what she said is a wonderful way to explain it. One of these days, Jordy Woman's going to teach your grandkids how to trade. <laughs> Once they get out of diapers. <laughs> there, that's from Journey Woman. Gator said no follow through on the upside buying, which is true as well here. That's correct too. Anyone else? Any other comments from the peanut gallery? The biggest thing that you can see here where the control was to the downside and not to the upside, despite the spike over the high, despite the fact that it held the low, despite the fact that it had this big green bar and we, we, we saw this, these moves. It went poop and then it did it again. It's almost like the red bars went down, but these moves happened very quickly. And we discussed this because it was like impossible even though we were up here to get out of it. I mean, I mean, it, unless you just press the button aimlessly in this red bar here, because the, the green bars moved very fast. It's hard to tell that now, but we were there live, so we know it. But the reason that it's very obvious here, where there was never any control in, in for the bulls on the day of the stock. Now looking back, this, I'm not saying look at the whole day, because it's very obvious to look at the daily chart. But I'm saying just looking here at the one minute chart, the way that it broke the low, this. If you had, big buyers in here. Now just listen to what I'm saying here, okay? If you had big buyers here in this, this would have plowed through the low when it broke. It didn't. It almost just gently glided off as if it was heading there anyways. Now, I'm going to try to blow this up again here, but it's hard to see it all. Here's where it broke the low. There wasn't even anybody in there trying to control it. It just went do 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 do. Normally, and we see this very often, actually, we see it a lot when something breaks the low, when there is somebody in there that's trying to get it, get it, get it and hold it up. And we're in it short, which which we often are if the gaps rate well and we're up and we're and we're trying to see if it breaks and we're up already. And we would have been up here. I still think we would have got out of this because I really never in my life expected this to go to 1250 yesterday. But anyways, going back to this, you see there, there really wasn't anybody even in there at all. It was day traders that bought this up in here. Huge money that sold it off into the pre-market and they covered here into the open, which was this. You might have had some more of that in here, but I think you really had day traders trying to buy this up to fill the gap. And they might have tried to support it briefly here, but you can see here how there really never was anyone that ever even cared. You can really see this here. So this is so obvious to me. When something really lifts, 
or supports itself or holds, it will do it and it will be very obvious. And that's the best way that I can describe it. But this didn't make any kind of large, huge, massive, big, fat red bar or anything once it broke through the low, which, which just shows you even more still that it was headed there anyways. The only thing that this had going against it yesterday was time. I couldn't be patient with it. The resistance touched the second level. Um, and But the lecture I gave yesterday was just spot on. And this continues to you know, strengthen my own conviction in the system that I know and direct you to do. And I lectured all day yesterday. We're not doing anything different. And we didn't, we didn't today and everything worked. So, and, and everything worked yesterday and in big, big ways. But this is very obvious. You have no one here that's, that's trying to control this even to hold it. That matters. Okay. Now, what did this do? So this is going to set up again. Uh, A and F, I think, it might be done. Nine ten, not going to be small. Nine ten by forty, well, thirty cents. Nine ten by forty, thirty cents. If you want to take it down, if you think it's going to break, fine. If you just want to scalp it, 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 this is a decent trade though. Even if it tries, just get down eight seventy at the low. You can watch this and do it again if it hits. 10 by 40 if you want, DDD. Let's look at this thing. Uh, this did set up again, but it went over the high. I would leave that alone. Um, everything opened late today. Let's look at the market. Uh, maybe the market's going to wait until Apple, Facebook, all the things tonight. Let's look at this. Does everybody understand the explanation I gave in the UAA? Okay, journeywoman doesn't understand. I'm going to go back. She says, well, I don't understand. Why wouldn't have it have a big red bar confirm control to the downside? The, a big red bar would have, that's not what I was saying. What I was saying was there was no one in here trying to control it to hold it up to the upside. The control was to the downside because it was dropping anyways. The, the, the shorting action, the selling action was selling it off. There, there's no, there's nothing that matters here at this moment for shorts or sellers. It's the opposite. So if you have people that are long the stock here and want to support it, now just listen to me, then they will have a stop here. And when the longs are stopped out, you will have a big red bar. You don't have a big red bar under the low because you get selling action. Not to say that people don't sell into the low. It's a horrible, horrible entry, by the way, particularly at 11 o'clock in the afternoon. But... You do, you do have some bad traders that do that though, but you would be looking for longs that would have a stop there. Bigger traders that might have a stop there, or even institutions that might have an exit point there for long the stock if they supported it on the day and went to buy up the gap. Kind of like we saw in the Juniper, that gap got supported. Was it something, or even the GE that one day, but those things were lower anyways. In fact, I think GE has traded down every day since then. But the thing is though that on the day when you're watching it, the red bar that you would have seen, which did not occur, which would have been a massive move down, would have been longs getting stopped out. It wasn't there. Nobody was really trying to support it with any money. In order for a stock to hold, it has to have, you have to, you have to come in and scoop it up and buy it. You have to scoop it up and buy it. That's why shorting against this market is so, is literally insane. Um, it's as insane as renting a car and driving through New York City and shooting people because does New York, does New York State have the death penalty? Because if they don't, they should, by the way. <laughs> you know, I appreciate it. I got, it. I got an email from Jeff last night. You asked me if I was okay. I, I rarely frequent downtown, so I, I was fine. But, I mean, it, we, we live in a crazy world. We just do. Anyways, getting back to this here, uh, to short this market is crazy. Somebody will do it. Somebody has done it. Somebody will do it again. Um, who knows when, but it, the very idea of the flip, flip side of what I was saying is when you have money coming in, that is bullish money that's buying something like the market here, you see it, it supports it. In order for it to be supported, support just is another word for buyers. Buyers are coming in, they're, they just come in with more. So they're actually believing the position so much that they're buying more because if the stock can't get supported unless it comes in to buy it to hold it up. 
For the price to be held up, more money has to come in to hold it up. More money than the sellers. Does that make sense? If you have, two, and I'm just going to use a very basic example here to understand this, what I'm saying. If you have two people that are shorting, and I'm just going to make this very, very simple. If you have two people that short the spiders at whatever number here we're in the day. High of the day was 258.43. Right now, low is 257.92. So you have two people shorting this today to push it down. Each of them has one share. Say they both have uh, sh they both have a price. They're short the stock at 258. One share 258. One share 258. A and B. Then you have five other people, okay, that are supporting the stock at 258. Okay. They all have one share. So this is what I'm saying. Who is going to end up holding it at 258? the people that are long it. Therefore, the people that are shorted at 258 aren't gonna make any money. Because the only people that shorted at 258, the only one that make any money is if it goes under 258. So the people that are holding it, the five that have one share versus the two that have two shares are gonna support it at 258. And it will lift over 258. I don't know how much. I'm just making up an example here, just very basic. But they have more than double of the five that have it long at 258. So the stock price is gonna lift over 258 therefore they'll be up and the shorts will be down and there you have it <laughs> does that make sense Here this goes. Mary's probably in it again. She swings for the fences. Anybody else? Did anybody else do this again? Let's look for A and F. This, this, this. Ooh, PayPal's drifting off after it hit 73, which it basically did. Is anybody still in the PayPal? It hit the next target. Anyways, does that make sense? I think it did. Chinchilla scalped what? DDD? Eclipse Trader said yes made sense. I think it made perfect sense. Because it's about the control. So you have more control in the market to the upside here than to the downside. Now that doesn't mean the control can't flip. That doesn't mean we're going to run up bullishly for the rest of our lives. Although we might. But I'm saying that the control here hasn't flipped. Therefore, you can't go against the control. And, it, and, and this, this has to do with how you're trading. I mean, you might be a day trader, you might be an option trader, you might be a swing trader, you might be a long-term investor. You know, again, we focus on the day trades. But what I'm saying is, and actually let's look at Amazon, because this, this was, in fact, well, we could look at Apple. Mark Mobile's doing it again, and so is Chinchilla. Here, so here, here you have Apple. Now this is getting a sell-off. In fact, maybe there's something going on with this. Let's look it up, because this is pretty big sell-off here. This is not out till tonight. Let's check it. Is something happening in Apple? My goodness, it's two months away less than that from Christmas. Where has the 2017 gone? Oh my goodness gracious. Yep, news just came out. Let me just read this here. Actually, this is more about QCOM, so that's weird. Some news came out at QCOM at 10 o'clock. That doesn't have to do with Apple. That's weird. No, I don't see anything in Apple. Apple's selling off, and when I looked it up, it's news about QCOM, so that's kind of weird. Hmm. All right. Um, did it go up to 170 this morning? It did. Well, anyways, this has, this has earnings out tomorrow night, this Apple here. 
Um, so people are, this is profit taking, it's happening here, but there is some shorts in here. I mean, I think it's obvious this could trade down. Gosh knows where it lands today. This looks like a, just a big sell off in here. So the stock had a rally for the last three days, up then again today at the 170 number, like Jairo pointed out. Now it's selling off. I think you got shorts in here and I think you have profit taking. The stock has rallied up and, you know, it's had a big move. So if you were long the stock, since before yesterday, we're under yesterday's low now, then you were, you got out with profit or you can even get out with profit now. But there are shorts in here. But do you see how dumb it is to short something like this? But as a day trade, if you're short in this, you'd be up today. But it doesn't mean you should do it. But, and the reason to do it is not because it's in, it's in an uptrend. The reason to do it is because the stock gapped up. The stock gapped up at brand new all-time highs today, almost at that 170 number, and then it sold off. So you don't short a gap up. Not something like this. Not in this market. The earnings are out tomorrow night. And looking at this chart now, it looks to me like it's probably going to gap up. I don't know. And I wouldn't do any trades in it, and we'll wait and see. But to me now, looking at this, I don't. I, no matter what it does today and tomorrow, this chart looks like it's going to gap up. Yep. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. You know. This I don't know. This I can't say either way. This I really don't have any idea at all, and this is tonight. <clears throat> Nor do I have any idea in the BABA either. But uh, this has had a move. Apple was the biggest move. Anyways, this is continuing. Watch it, though. Watch it, though, the DDD. So I think the market looked good until Apple started falling. I don't know why. Just leave everything be. We had a good, solid day today. Uh, does anyone have any questions about anything else? I don't know exactly what's going on Friday with me being on the radio. I, so I asked Gyro to cover the room. They, they just said be available 7 to 11. That's all I know. Um, I'll find out the details maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe five minutes before I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> so I have no idea. But I'm really being very flexible. So you have to be flexible as a trader, and you have to be flexible if you want to be on TV. It's all about the flexibility. <laughs> If you want opportunity to come your way, then you got to learn to be flexible. Um, does anyone have any <laughs> questions about anything else? Yes, you can test your screen. Go for it. Take over the world. <laughs> 